Unstoppable Newcastle United are almost a certainty to finish in this season's Premier League top four. Who will finish in the top four should be a nuanced question. It should be the battle for April or May. It should be fucking warmer than it is right now because it's absolutely freezing here in Newcastle upon Tyne. But we already know, I already know that Newcastle United are a top four team. We are better than the teams below us in the league. I'm going to go into lots of reasons in this video why. The key reasons being the fixture list for Newcastle is way better for the rest of the season than it is our top four rivals. We've got the best defence. They've got no chance. We've got unbelievable footballers going to come in and make us even better at Premier League football, if it's even possible, than we are right now. Newcastle are absolutely class, and this is the reason why I think Newcastle are almost guaranteed already to finish in the top four. I have to start by talking through what an absolutely inspirational, unbelievable year it has been for Eddie Howe and Newcastle United. This time last year, almost to the day, I slumped out of St James's Park, having drawn with Watford. Where was the next win going to come from? Who were Newcastle going to beat? I asked myself. I don't think I was the only one. Turns out it was Leeds a week later. It was fucking class. I was there. Great memories. Um, but And then we beat loads of other teams. That was class as well. Let's just talk about how good the last year has been. Newcastle are third in the league after 19 games. I'm doing this video talking up top four because it's halfway through the season. It's a good time to take stock. Have a look. We've got League Cup shit coming up. Can't wait for that. Buzzing about that. But the Premier League, it looks very, very attractive right now. I don't know what you guys are attracted to. If you support Newcastle United, I'm going to put an image on the screen that I'm sure you find pretty nice to look at. It's Newcastle in third place in the league deservedly so it's absolutely class we've had bad refs this season we've had bad luck but jesus fucking christ what a job eddie howe has done i don't have the vocabulary you know other people probably do other youtube channels they're out there to describe what he's done all i can keep saying over and over fucking again is it's class well done eddie howe well done you cassie knight everyone who works there i'm in your debt i respect you forever for this job it's one of the great premier league turnarounds in just 12 months maybe there's lads who know more about the past football in days gone by, tell me in the comments who's done a better job. Maybe there's someone, but I don't know who they are. So that makes me feel very good that Eddie Howe came to my football club, which has taken over. What a job he has done. I think that the top four spot that we've held since the 23rd of October in 2022 will be ours at the end of the season, and it'll be deserved because Eddie Howe is just a genius. Before I talk loads more about Newcastle United this season, I want to talk about our main top four rivals. Give me, gives me great pleasure to say that we're class and they're not. But even even for someone bitter and twisted like me who really enjoys the mis misfortune of the teams who've battered us for years, who have been to their grounds as an away fan, they haven't had to think about us, they haven't had to worry about us. Well, they're worried now. Um, Chelsea, more record signings and wins this season. Is it true? But it could be true. You know, so ridiculous has their season, their form been compared to their spending. Shit like that could be true. Probably not. I don't know. More accuracy on other YouTube channels. They're out there. Liverpool look knackered. They just look a bit sad. They look a bit knackered. Um, I don't know what's going on at Liverpool. They seem to have a plan earlier in the season where if you were levelling a game, you just played until the end, until you won. It worked for them for them once, maybe, in, uh, against another team. I don't know. I don't watch that many Liverpool games. But what I do know is that it doesn't work now because they're losing most of the time. You can't, you know, beat Brighton injury time if you're 3-0 down. However long you want to play, they're the perfect example of a team that is just miles away from Newcastle United, in my opinion. I'm heavily biased. You probably know that by now if you watch a travel before. But I think Newcastle are miles better than Liverpool and Chelsea. Spurs. Spurs are above them both in the league. Wouldn't fucking know it. Listen to their fans. Christ. Collective mental breakdown at how well Arsenal are doing um, I don't think I'll ever know that feeling because Sunderland are dog shit and probably always will be, always have been as well in my lifetime. Um, you know, the fans want the owners out. There's lads kicking opposition players uh, in the back. I don't know, it just seems rash. You know, that you know Klopp and, um, is one of the managers as well as Conte who just seems to be constantly apologising or or making their case for, for patience. Eddie Howe doesn't have to do that because we keep winning and we keep playing really well. We keep beating teams. Um, you know, none of our lads have got anything to apologise for. One of them for drink driving, he's apologised, moved on, he won't do it again. Everything is perfect at Newcastle United. The other clubs in this division just aren't that good. This team they're trying to chase, they're trying to get close to, is an award-winning Premier League team so far this season. Have other teams won awards? I don't know. I didn't check. Where class, they're not.
Let's get back to the mighty Newcastle United. We'll not talk about what other teams aren't. Let's talk about what we are and what we've got coming up. We have an incredible fixture list second half of the season. Every game looks very attractive to me at the minute because we're class and I think we can win and beat anyone. Win and beat. Um, let's face it, Newcastle have got six of the top seven or five because we can't play ourselves. Five of the top seven to play at home in the Premier League. It's only Manchester City at the City of Manchester Stadium, whatever the fuck they call it these days. Eddie Had. There you go, lads. There's your advertising revenue coming through. Definitely all legit that as well, by the way. Um, you know, we've got to go there. That's fine. But we've got to play Arsenal at home. We've got to play Liverpool at home. Brighton have got to come to us. Uh, Man United have got to come to us. Are they going to beat us? Right now, I ask you, are they going to beat us at home? We've lost zero home games this season. Only us and Arsenal have done that. They couldn't beat us at home. Uh, since Eddie Howe took the job, only Liverpool have lost less home games than Newcastle United at home, and he took the job in 2021, Eddie Howe. It's an unbelievable record at St. James's Park. It means that we've played a lot of the worst teams at home, but that's okay. We've played two of the bottom eight or the bottom ten away from home, and uh, that was really easy against Leicester and Southampton. Absolutely smashed those lads. Thanks very much. Great days for us, not for so much for them. Um, and, you know, we also, you know, we've played lesser teams at home. We've played, like, shit teams like Chelsea at home. They didn't give us a game. It was very, very comfortable. I'm absolutely confident that the fixture list favours us for the second half of the season. St. James's Park isn't a hard play to go, place to go. It's an impossible place to go and win at the minute. Eddie Howe and these lads' record deserve that. They are impossible to beat at St. James's Park unless you leave one Cambridge. But we don't have to play them. And also was a good defeat. I think we can all say now it was a good defeat, just like Sheffield Wednesday. As fuming as I was at full time at Hillsborough, probably was a good defeat in the context of the month and the League Cup and all that shit. Newcastle United are superb at home. The fact we have to play our biggest rivals at home means we won't lose to them, probably. Means we can pull further away from them and means we're going to solidify this top four position that we've got currently. The fixture list is to our advantage, not theirs. I did a whole video about this next point. It's the Newcastle United defence. Even since I recorded that video a matter of weeks ago, it is just absurd. The numbers, the numbers are ridiculous. They're almost like nonsensical. 11 goals conceded in 19 league games. It's too few goals to concede and not win a league title, I think. That's why, you know, I think we'd, we should be much closer to Arsenal if we'd had the luck that Arsenal have had. Arsenal have now got a few injuries. They're still doing well. Okay, maybe we won't win the league this season. We will soon, though, but the defence this season should be title winning. It's that good. Compare it again. I'm bringing in those other teams, um, even though they're not very good. Look at our top four rivals. Look at their defence. What what have we got? We've got Brighton, 29, 25 conceded. Fulham, 29 conceded. Spurs, 27 conceded. Liverpool, 25 conceded. Do the maths. I'm not going to do it for you. 11 compared to all of these numbers is just silly. How are they going to catch us? How are they going to get better? There isn't going to be an Eddie Howe defensive miracle like there was at Newcastle last season when he took over from Steve Bruce. These lads have got the same managers. They've got the same defenders. They're not going to get much, much closer to Newcastle United. In two, are they even playing the same game defensively? It doesn't look like the same sport. Nick Pope is redundant. If Nick Pope was like told to fuck off and go home for half an hour, I don't know if the score would change because he has nothing to do apart from claim a few crosses, sweep up quite nicely in front of that penalty box and also you know throw the ball out in a really attractive way. It looks very pleasing to my eyes. You know, Newcastle have got an unbelievable defence. Even I hear you scream. You might say injuries, Alex. Injuries will fuck us over. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think the lads will get injured. We've had enough of that shit this season. Um, but also look at last season. You know, Indy Castle's kind of excellent back five towards the end of the last 19 games of last season. Who's in there? Martin Dubravka, Matt Target, uh, Emil Kraft. You know, three of that back five, I, I would say those players aren't top four players, but they played like top four players when they came into Indy Castle's unit. You saw that with Sean Longstaff this season, a player written off by many and he's come in and been unbelievable because the system works. The players who train and work with Eddie Howe and Mad Dog Tyndall every single day, they improve as footballers. So I think even if we get injuries to those handsome bastards in the back four, we'll be okay. We're still absolutely class defensively. You know, these lads are not going to get much closer to Newcastle in a defensive aspect. Newcastle are not going to get worse. They might get even better defensively. 
are they going to catch us in this top four race? It's not going to happen. Another big reason why Newcastle are going to finish top four this season. A lot of people, maybe myself, sometimes guilty of this, but a lot of people do this in sport, not just football. They look at something nice. They look at something that should please them. And instead of embracing that moment, you think, ooh, could it be better? Should this be better? You can't do that with Newcastle United. They've been that good. One defeat in 19, 11 goals conceded, etc., etc. You've heard it all in this video. But it can be better. <laughs> it's going to get better because Alexander Izak is back. Three goals in four Premier League games. Oh my God, the numbers. 65 million quid. He's been out for fucking four months. We've missed him. You know, some of those draws drop very few points in reality, but some of those draws could have been wins with a player like that. He's that good. You've seen him by now. You've seen how sharp he is. He's hungry. He puts himself about. He's class. He's a fucking good footballer. He has to play for me. He cannot be out of this team. I don't know how he's going to work it in. I trust him to sort it out. He's that good. Imagine if Kane wasn't playing for Spurs this season. Imagine if there was no Mitrovic at Fulham. Um, Salah, he hasn't had as good a season as uh, you know as, as the, the the Premier League superstars above him like Miguel Almiron, but he still scored seven goals. And I think Liverpool would be much worse without him. He scored a couple of bit in a big couple of big winners for Liverpool as well. You know, Newcastle have been without that caliber of player in my opinion all season, and they've done what they've done. What a signing it was! What a signing to bring him in Newcastle. They could have stood still. People still would have been happy with a very Sven Botman, Nick Pope transfer window. I don't know who else was signed. Probably someone else. We bought this lad in. The most annoying thing for me is when he was fit early this season, he was playing for Real Sociedad, who um, is aren't Newcastle. So he is class. He's back. We're going to get better. None of those other teams have a player like that to come back into their team to improve their team. We're the third best team currently with the players that we've got. We've now got Isak. The song makes sense. Botman at the back. Isak. Is it Isaac? I don't know. Someone tell me in the comments. Um, can't wait. He's going to play. We're going to finish top four. And then, of course, there are the points, pure points. Chelsea and Liverpool, 10 points behind Newcastle United. I'm sure both have ambitions of finishing in the top four. You need to look at Man United, lads. Maybe Man City, but probably not. Definitely not Arsenal. Not Newcastle. Newcastle United are not going to be 10, you know, they're not going to be, there isn't going to be a 10 point swing with Liverpool, with Chelsea for the rest of the season. If anything, I'd back that gap to get much bigger. We are simply better than these sides from the 19 games we've seen so far this season and a few cup games where we'll play the first team. The fact that we've lost once all season is incredible. These lads look like they could lose every time they turn out, particularly away from home. Newcastle aren't like that. It's an extraordinary stat to only lose once. It makes me very, very happy, but also angry. Every time I mention it, I keep bringing it up. They're two confusing feelings to have at the same time because it's, a, it's such a good stat, but it should be zero. We shouldn't have lost. That's frustrating. Um, but we'll probably sign someone as well this window. They'll probably be class. If they're not class, Eddie Howe and Tyndall will make them class. You know how it works now. That is the drill. Um, and, you know, we've got these incredible footballers. They've been class this season. I don't think they've played above themselves particularly. I don't think they have the points they deserve. You know, we're still top of the woodwork table. If there was a table that I would like to fucking have, you know, the winner of awarded the Premier League title, it would be that one because we're top of it and that's how my brain works. Um, that also means we're tremendously unlucky. We could and should have more points than we do at the minute. We aren't going to get much worse as the season progresses. We aren't in the FA Cup. We aren't in Europe like all of the teams I've just been talking about apart from Fulham, but they don't count. Um, and that's why we're going to finish in the top four, in my opinion. I think these lads deserve this kind of praise. I think we need to keep talking them up. We need to keep recognising what they've done. It has been that good. They're fucking class. Everyone else is shite, apart from the teams above us and maybe Man United. It's an unbelievable time to be a Newcastle fan. If you like this video, leave me a comment. Tell me what you like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. All of those things will tell you what to do on the internet to make your YouTube channel grow. Thanks for watching.